You know, as someone who has procured multiple 30 series graphics cards at this time, I think I have earned uh, the credibility to share some tips and tricks with you as to how you can get yourself some graphics cards. The new graphics cards. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some tips and tricks that you guys can use to help yourself get a hold of the new graphics cards. It doesn't matter if you're trying to get yourself an NVIDIA graphics card, a 3060 Ti, 3070, 3090, 3080, or an AMD card, 6800 XT, 6800, 6900 XT, it doesn't matter. These tips will work for anything, and that includes the PS4 and the new Xbox Series X. It really doesn't matter. This will work on anything. Now the tips I'll be sharing with you guys today have helped me get multiple 30 series graphics cards. I've been able to buy two 3070s and a 3080 using these methodologies. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I recently bought that 3080 and it actually caught on fire. So it's no longer in my system. It was a sad deal, very upsetting, still mad about it. Got a video on this if you guys want to check it out but nonetheless i'm going to be sharing with you guys these tips and tricks on how you can help yourself be successful in buying 3080s 3070s 3060s 6800 guys whatever it is you can use these methods to buy any of them so without further ado let's get into it so first off guys, what we're gonna be starting with is going to be some internet trackers. Now I did a couple videos on a couple of these already and I had one specifically that you could only use on Best Buy, but I've got a better one that I put out there and this one can be used on any website, not just Best Buy. And this is gonna be known as the Distill IO. Now this is going to be the tracker here that you're gonna be looking for. And you can add this to a Google Chrome extension very easily. And we'll go ahead and just type it into Google. You can type in Distill Tracker in Google. And it should be the second one that comes up, this Distill Web Monitor. You'll click it, add it to your Chrome extensions. And from there, once it's there, simple, really easy to use. You've got it. You should have a little teardrop in the top here. Now, I'm going to show you guys how you easily use this. I'm going to add a tracker. I'm going to show you guys how this works. It's really simple. So I'm going to go to Best Buy. It doesn't have to be Best Buy. It can be Amazon or really any site except for Newegg. Don't use it on Newegg. But here we are, Best Buy. We're going to type in 3080. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. That's what everybody wants, right? And so we're just going to go here. We're going to go for Founders Edition. That's what we're looking for, for this example anyway. So here we are on the page that we're interested in. It's, I'm telling you guys, this is super simple. We're going to go up to our, our Chrome extensions here, up here. We're going to click the little teardrop. We're going to select parts of the page. Now, here's where this makes sense. Now, we're going to select part of the page here. And what it's going to do, we're going to have options. We can look here. It has little brackets that it's showing up here. You see the little black borders coming up. Well, what you're going to want to do with this tracker is select a part of the page that would actually change when stock actually changes stock status. So where it says sold out here, that's where you want to be looking. So we're going to click over here. And once we do, if you look at the bottom right here, now it's added sold out compare safe. Now, now it's going to be tracking this part of this web page here. So we're going to save this selection. So then we get a couple of options that pop up here. Now you can change the intervals here to how many times or how much, how often you want it to ping that web page and look at it and see if something has changed. See if something has happened differently in that specific area that you selected. So you can pick your interval five seconds if you are okay with seeing a little cog happen a little refresh symbol every five seconds and then from there you can add different actions what you would like to happen when it happens so you got the option to 
have an audio sound if you want. You can have that there if that's what you'd like. Whenever something happens on that page that you're monitoring, you can have it pop up a page or pop up a notification on your computer, little notification that pops up. You can add an email if you want it to email you, let you know. And there's a couple other things that you can do here. You want to add a different app. You can open a page uh, in tab. You can have it send you a text message, but that is a paid service. Just so you guys know, the other ones that I've let you know about free don't have to pay for them. So if they've got a little asterisk here, those are paid options, but they do have an app too. And to actually use that, you have to pay, but that's kind of up to you guys. If you want to go that way up to you and there's conditions that you can add as well. If you wanted, you can go through those, add little different conditions if you'd like to do that. If not, you can just go with what you got here and save it. And it'll send you to this little screen right here. And at the top here, this is what we've got here rolling. So this is our saved thing here. I got a couple other things here, but don't worry about those. This is just, just kind of showing you guys like that I actually use this. I use this to watch for different things. So that'll let you know anytime something happens, if this changes and it has add to cart, it's gonna let you know. It's gonna pop that up. Whatever action you told it to have, that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna be checking this every five seconds. And just so you guys know, if you don't have an internet browser open, then it won't actually check. You have to have an internet browser open for this to actually do its job and cycle and check to see. But don't use these trackers on Newegg. Newegg monitors their site and they will block your IP if they see multiple refreshes going on. So do not use these trackers on Newegg. Any other site should be fine. Now, obviously guys, we wanna maximize as best as we possibly can. And yes, it's true. You personally on your machine should not use the trackers on Newegg because they will ban your IP. But if you have Discord and I recommend that you get it, whether it be on your phone or on your desktop, get it. And you can follow a place that I like to call stockdrops.net on Discord. And if you're not familiar with them, well, they basically let you know when stock drops on their net. And like I said, you want to get Discord. You can easily Google this. You can go to their Discord just by pulling it up here, joining their Discord. And what they do is what they say. Now here, I'm on their little tab here for 3080s. And you can customize whatever it is you want to have them send you updates on. If you don't want updates on 3090s, you, you won't get them. You just follow their little instructions. They'll let you know to set it up the way that you want it and you customize it however it is you want it. So like I said, 3080s here, guys. February 5th, when was that? I don't know, a few days ago. And they will let you know when it pops up in the store, where it, wherever it is, give you a link to it. You can click it. You're going to be, you know, you're going to be racing other people. You know, you're not going to be the only one using this, but these guys seem to be the quickest that I've seen. So I definitely give them a look. I would definitely check this out. This is just another way to help you get a hold of a new GPU, CPU, console, if that's what you're trying to get, guys. So maximize your chances. Follow stockdrops.net. They'll definitely help you out. And another thing that you can use while we're on the subject of Discord, I actually use uh, ATR and these guys, they do the same thing. They will let you know anything, 3060s, 3060s TI, whatever, any of it. They let you guys know whenever stuff drops. Now, these guys don't seem to be as fast as stockdrops.net, but what they do let you know is whenever there's some sort of uh, shuffle that goes on. And if you're not familiar with the shuffles, Newegg themselves, they have a little uh, product shuffle. And what this does is allows you to have a chance at potentially getting a guaranteed spot at buying whatever it is that they're allowing on their shuffle. Now, these guys are have everything from 5600s to 5900x, uh, 5950x, 
and Xboxes, Playstations, whatever the new stuff that's going on, 3080s, 3090s, all of it. Sometimes they shuffle around the inventory that they let you buy here, but I mean, you can see here, guys, they let you select which ones you're interested in buying. They have a little raffle drawing, and if you get lucky enough, they'll let you have a reserved window at buying whatever it was that you were after. Just another way to help you get a hold of some of this stock. There are ways, guys, there are definitely ways of getting a hold of this stuff. There's a lot of different chances, a lot of different ways. Uh, trying to take advantage of all of these definitely helps. So, I mean, let's move on to another one, you know? Twitter. This is going back to stock drops here, but stock drops actually has a Twitter here and you can follow them at bot RTX and this will, they do updates just the same and let you know when stock comes up, you can follow their links, try to buy stuff. Again, you're going to be racing other people, but guys, you want to maximize your chances. You want to maximize your chances. So whatever it is you got to do, here it is guys. These are all the things, but I do have one more trick, one more ace. Look, don't be looking at this merchandise. One more tried and true, at least has been for me. And that's going to be Micro Center. That's right. If you have a Micro Center next to you, anywhere around you, guys, Micro Center. I have been able to get all of my cards from Micro Center. It's a lot less of a fight and I don't have to worry about bots coming in and just taking everything instantaneously. I personally felt like I have the best chance at Micro Center. Now, with that said, guys, there are some sacrifices. You know, there's some cold nights, some early mornings, staying up, camping out. If that's if you're OK with doing it, if it means that much to you, if you're wanting to sacrifice that much for it. Now, guys, I. I'm sorry for you if you don't have a micro center by you. Just know I don't have one by me. I drove three hours. Okay. Both ways. Three hours both ways. So six hours in total. And, it, it, you know, it's not fun. But this is the best, absolute best way to ensure that you get a graphics card. And from what I've noticed, guys, at least for the micro center that's by me, it, uh, it's not guaranteed, obviously, but weekdays seem to be the best days for getting a hold of these graphics cards. So weekends, not necessarily the greatest, but weekdays, they seem to uh, get new stock refresh every day. It's not always going to be the 3080s. It's not always going to be AMD cards, but they get something in it. According to the, the workers from there, every day they get something during the week week weekdays not the weekends so guys if you got a micro center for by you and you don't mind uh hanging out camping a night over maybe some weird stuff happening like uh tow truck drivers and stuff such you know hit up a micro center guys i have had very good success there i know i know nobody wants to wait out in the cold i know but Sometimes you got to make sacrifices or you can pay a scalper, I guess, whichever one you want to do. Guys, prices are getting ridiculous right now. Scalpers are jacking the price up and retailers are following suit and, you know, people are paying it. People are paying it. We're not going to point any fingers right now and say who it really is causing this issue. But, you know, it's just it's it's insane. It's insane to the point that. It's cheaper to buy a pre-built PC than it is trying to build one right now. And that's not usually been the been the way it is, but that's where it is right now. Buying pre-builds is cheaper. Which, by the way, if you're looking for a pre-build, I got some suggestions here that you can check out. Just saying. But it's getting ridiculous, and I know. But if you want to stick to it, you want to try to get the retail price on the card that you're after, guys check out some of these methods try them out i've had success i know other people that have had success 
I mean, you can do it. It's just going to take some effort. A lot more effort than it should. But that's the world we're in right now. And I'm sorry. But guys, if you found this video helpful in any sort of way, got some sort of good information, felt like it was some sort of good quality or content, you know, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Because you know what that does, guys? It lets YouTube know that, hey, this guy, he's decent. He puts out decent videos. And let's, let's show them to some other people. That's what it does. It helps me grow as a YouTuber. And I'd be grateful for that kind of support. It's a great way to help support the channel. Great way to, uh, a great and free way to help me continue to do what I do and try to give you guys good information. And, you know, I'd appreciate that. I do have some PC builds coming to the channel, just waiting on some more parts. So if you do enjoy PC builds, you like watching that kind of stuff, want to learn how to build a PC, I give tutorials on this channel, I do tech news, I do reviews, guys. I try to help out as much as I possibly can. So make sure you're subscribed. That's going to do it for the video. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, ask. I don't mind helping. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. Hope you want to be a part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. They go so far for the channel. It really helps me continue to grow and make content. With that said, I hope you can like. I hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe. A tech vibe. Specifically. We'll see you.